The debate over plans to step up uranium mining near the Grand Canyon was the subject of a public meeting this morning in Flagstaff. Congressman Tom O'Halloran hosted a town hall meeting to gather local input on the controversial plan. Sakya Kasoyas has more. With the Trump administration looking to reopen areas near the Grand Canyon to new uranium mining claims, elected officials from the city of Flagstaff and Coconino County, along with Havasupai, Hopi, and Navajo tribal leaders, sat with Congressman Tom O'Halloran to address concerns from the public about various aspects related to uranium mining policies. Havasupai Tribal Councilwoman Carletta Tulusi says this meeting is a step in the right direction. I think finally our voices are being heard in D.C and we're given the opportunity to express our concerns about our water, our, our animals, and the human life that exists in the Grand Canyon. A major topic in the discussion centered around the mining moratorium enacted in 2012 by then Interior Secretary Ken Salazar, which banned new mining claims to protect the Grand Canyon's watersheds from uranium mining pollution. Allison Gitlin from the Sierra Club says that something more permanent should be in place. These are public lands. These belong to all of us. It's our Crown Jewel National Park. It's the home, ancestral homeland of so many of our region's people and it's too important. Another key area of concern with Flagstaff is a plan to allow the transport of uranium ore through northern Arizona. At the end of the meeting, Congressman O'Halloran gave the floor to citizens. Local activist Klee Benali gave the congressman a challenge to sponsor a bill to clean up over 500 abandoned uranium mines on the Navajo reservation. Saki Kalsoyas, NAZ Today.